What's up everyone? Today I was originally going to go to the Air Force Museum to show you guys a couple of airplanes. Unfortunately when I arrived it was closed. Google Maps could have told me that. But it's like for two days they said they're closed for no reason given. So instead we're going to go to two markets today. I'm going to go to one local market. It's called Ying Charon. I believe that's how you pronounce it. And after that, we're gonna go to Chattachak Market, the famous market every tourist goes to. And we're gonna compare the two, see which one is better. First stop, Ying Charon, because it's only two stops away from the Air Force Museum. Catch you guys there. Yeah, a bunch of food here, relatively cheap prices. They have a lot of seating as well. So you don't have to worry about it. Not only food they have as well. They have clothing and everything else you can imagine. They have just typical Thai food, pork with rice, pad kapow, noodles. I'm trying to find something I want to eat though. Let's see what I'll get for breakfast. They have duck and chicken with rice. About $1.50 to $2 depending how much you want. Papaya salad, som tam. This one is really good. They have fried fish. And this is pork, pretty good too. Check out this place. One for 40, two for 45. You got all this kind of stuff here with rice. I think I'm gonna get myself this for breakfast. You get the utensils here, you can clean them in the sterilizer, and then find a seat and eat. Instructions are clear. And now it's clean. I got myself pork with pumpkin and pork with egg. This is 45 baht, about a dollar, about a dollar and 20 cents. Time to eat. Time to rate the food. Let's see how the rice with the egg tastes. It's not bad. It's not the best, but it's definitely edible. And now we're gonna try some of the rice with the black sauce and a piece of pumpkin and the pumpkin is really soft it's actually really delicious I really like pumpkin it's really healthy for you and this one is extremely soft now for the pork let's see how this one tastes and it's delicious really good meal really happy for the price I just had my food it was pretty good now I'm going to try out this coconut drink. Apparently it's really sweet. 30 baht, so under a dollar. See how it tastes. Let's see how this coconut thing tastes. It tastes like, like alcohol almost. I don't, it tastes like coconut water with alcohol. Not bad. I like it. I'll probably go with coconut water over this, but try something new. It's always fun. So here's the cafe. The restaurants are right next door. And they have some knickknacks for sale. Some clothes, relatively cheap. Can't go wrong with these prices. Six socks for a hundred baht. Some beauty supplies, women's stuff. I'm not sure it's a good price for you ladies, but cool. Bunch of shoes, about $9 a pair.
pet shop. That's convenient. And they have a fresh market at the back. Let's check that out too. I just realized there's actually a 7-Eleven over here. A 7-Eleven in the market. You don't see that every day. Not too much cooked foods. Most of this place, as you see, is clothing and the fresh market. This is where apparently it's famous for. Let's check it out. This place is ginormous. All this is fresh fruits and vegetables. And the prices seem relatively good. They have papaya for 20 baht for a bag. It's like 80 cents for a bag. 10 baht for a bag of these herbs. Turmeric, I think that is. Some sort of mushroom. 15 baht for this papaya. 20 baht for a winter gourd. 30 baht for cabbage. That's cabbage, right? Okay, I forgot. Tomatoes, 20 baht. 10 baht for this thing. There's bok choy, I think. 5 baht for this. Wow. So one stock for 5 baht. It's really cheap. Thai peppers, 10 baht for a bag. 35 baht, I think that's for a kilo. That's a good price. 13 baht for the tomatoes. Wow, is this tomato I think? No, this persimmon. Oh wow, I love persimmon. I might get myself this. Uh, Kotokap, uh, non kilo, uh, sip sama? No. Ah, uh, okay, one, one gram. So it's one gram for 13 baht. Uh, it's a little bit more expensive, but still. A lot of options of fruits. 20 baht for pumpkin. Yeah. Gotta yeah, love that. More vegetables. They have pineapple already made and cut up. About a dollar for one papaya. That's a good price. Check out this thing the jackfruit. Big old jackfruit she's cutting up like this. So this is how it looks like. They cut it in half. You eat the pulp. And it looks like that. This is snake fruit. 80 baht. I'm not sure if it's for a gram or whatever, but it's kind of sour. I'm not a big fan of this fruit. But that's how it looks like, the snake fruit. Like that. When it's ready. I got myself jackfruit. 45 baht for a kilo. It's like two pounds for a dollar fifty. Not a bad price. One dollar for two fish. I think this is mackerel. Depending on the size, the price will vary. Put it up. Of course, you have your fresh meats. So you can cook it yourself at home. Bunch of noodles. Bunch of other... So this area is pretty much just a bunch of fresh meats, noodles, and some fish. Alright. What about on the back over here? Let's see. A bunch of rice for sale. Depending on the weight, so much you pay. Pretty cool. And they have this stuff, basic home appliances, very convenient. If you want to cook, you have your utensils here. Always good to see. More home appliances for cooking. <laughs> coconut milk, you, can't, you have to have your curry with coconut milk. More vegetables. This place is really large, guys, I'm telling you. You can walk here forever just looking at the fresh uh, vegetables and meats. Really cool. This is a very popular Thai dipping sauce. They use fish paste and crab. This is the jackfruit in its baby form. 
Not sure he's ready to eat yet. Broccoli. 65 baht for one, I think. Less than 50 cents for a bag of limes. That's great. I'm not sure what this stuff is, but... It looks like fermented stuff. Fresh seafood. A lot of shrimps here. And squid. You have the cooked mackerel over here, ready to eat. And you have the raw prawns, mussels, clams, all kinds of seafoods here. Crabs too. That's awesome. A lot of them here. A lot of choices. Pretty much all the way to the end here. Just mackerel, fish, seafood, a bunch of different raw fish as well. They have eggs, more seasonings, and cup noodles. Like literally, if you want to cook, you come here, you'd be spoiled for choice. Just look at these fish. Giant fish. They have some pork here. Check this thing out. <laughs> Halloween mask. Sweet potatoes. Taro. Pumpkin. Bunch of limes. You gotta love it. This is the custard apple. It's pretty good. Persimmon. One of my favorite fruits ever. I love this thing. Guava. Dragon fruit. Oranges, of course. Papaya and mango. Banana flower. Do they celebrate Easter here? Why is there rainbow eggs? My style of shirt. But, uh... About four dollars for one. In the hot weather, I love sleeveless polyester. Otherwise, I'll be drenched. Gotta love it. Thai style way of eating. You open up this mat, you sit down on the floor, you have a feast with your family. A lot of pretty baskets, some bags. Check out the umbrellas. That's a pretty sight. And a bunch of really cheap clothes. 100 baht, 50 baht for one shirt. Can't go wrong with those prices. This is jackfruit. If you guys haven't tried it, I highly recommend it. Let's see how the quality is of this one. It's a little dirty, what is this? It's really sticky too. Definitely have to wash your hands after you eat it. Let's see how it tastes. It tastes like the juicy fruit chewing gum. You know juicy fruit chewing gum? Tastes like that but better. Highly recommend it. I'm the only foreigner here, as to be expected. I'm not sure how many foreigners will come to a fresh market. They're probably looking to buy ready-to-eat foods, not looking to cook. But still, they have a couple things to eat right away. They have a lot of fruit options. It's a cool spot. Something different, you know? Not touristy. Always nice to get some different vibes.